Hey Lee fans, Mark Fair with the Blue Line Official. Today, I want to talk about two goaltenders that I've had the privilege of watching and two of the absolute greats in Toronto Maple Leaf history. We're going to talk about Curtis Joseph versus Eddie Belfour. Which one do I think is the best? Let's do this. When we talk about the success of the Toronto Maple Leafs, it's not hard to bring in any goaltender during that time who is a key contributor. I mean, if we look at the 40s, we can talk about the great Turk Broda, one player I absolutely wish that I could have watched. Whether it was Johnny Bauer and Terry Sawchuk, the two that helped back those 60s dynasty, even Jacques Plante made a stop in here, one of the greatest goaltenders of all time. But two players that I've had the privilege of watching, and we're going to talk about today, is Curtis Joseph versus Eddie Belfour. Which player would you take on your team to win a Stanley Cup? Well, for me, it's not much of a decision. Although the fans would fall in love with Curtis Joseph back in 1993 when he almost single-handedly took out the Toronto Maple Leafs as a St. Louis Blues if it hadn't been for Doug Gilmore and his magic wraparound goal. I was actually lucky enough to be in attendance for that game so I can tell you we were sweating and we were losing as much weight as Doug Gilmore was worrying if we were actually going to be able to close out that series just based on the way that Curtis Joseph was playing. And when he came to Toronto it, things really didn't change. Curtis Joseph relied on his athletic ability. His positioning, not always perfect, but his athletic ability allowed him to get back in the net and make some incredible saves. Sometimes the easier saves looked tough because he wasn't, didn't have the ability to read and react like some goaltenders who play pro, almost perfect positional goaltending. That's where we go to Eddie Belfour. Much the opposite. A very quiet guy, quiet in his net, amazing rebound control, a very sound positional goaltender. And you know, when you really compare the numbers of these two, their numbers aside from from awards are almost bang on the same. They're very comparable. But where Eddie Belfort takes the, the cake with me is the fact, well, hey, listen, he won a Calder Trophy, he won four Jennings Trophies, he won two Vezinas, and well, he, aside from the All-Stars and everything else that he got accolades for, he's also a Stanley Cup winner, winning a Stanley Cup in 1999 and going to the finals in 92 and again in 2000. But the one thing that really impresses me the most is during those runs, he had to beat out two of the very best head-to-head -head in Patrick Waugh and Dominic Hasek. So as much as the stats might show that they're closer goaltenders, and as much as Leaf fans may fall in love with the fact of their character guy in, in Curtis Joseph, where Eddie, Eddie Belfour may not have had that same personality, I think Eddie Belfour, who really put a lot of time into making sure he stayed ahead of the curve of the game. I mean, I'm wearing his 2004 game use sweater now, and I actually brought one of his paddles over because I thought it was really cool how we always identified to Eddie the Eagle with that Eagle logo that he would have on his mask, which he actually had on several pieces of his equipment like you see here in a stick. Where Cujo, we became accustomed to the dog style, the dog mask uh, from the movie where he gained his, his nickname from. But, you know, at the end of the day, I was actually very privileged enough as a young man uh, during my time in school to be able to work for several manufacturers. And when I worked for Bauer and I worked for Cooper, um, Eddie would actually come into the plant and go through his specific pads. And he'd try a little bit more, a uh, little bit more padding, a little bit less padding, buckle changes, any kind of advantage that he thought he could find, it would keep him, again, ahead of the curve. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we do compare these numbers, but when you add the trophies and the Stanley Cup championships and the fact that Eddie showed up more often and actually won more, his success, it's, it's not even close in my opinions. But I'd love to hear your opinion. Why don't you tell us what you think? And if you disagree with me, that's okay too, even though I think you're wrong. Anyways, I'm Mark Farrow with The Blue Line. Thank you very much for joining us. Follow us on all social medias.